What's up everybody? So, we are out trapping today. Just kind of a crazy, crazy situation here. Irrigation units, one, two, three, four, five, six of them out here. Is there six or how many you got down here? Seven, there's, oh yeah, seven, there's two right there. Seven irrigation units in this pond here. It's about nine or 10 feet deep and it actually has a bunch of fish in it. And there's a big old beaver lodge right on the shoreline right there. And the beaver are cutting down all the trees. You can see you're literally for 50 feet up all the way around this entire thing. The beaver just mowed the trees down. We were out here yesterday and there's so many, there's so many trees, like ironwood, oak, everything, hardwoods that are all knocked down. There's a big feed pile right there. And the otters, actually the otters are, the, are probably the worst thing out here um, because he was telling me you see them up here all over the place and they're eating tons of fish. So people always wonder, you know, they're like, ah, oh, otters aren't too bad, you know. But, you know, they in fact can be in situations like this where, you know, he stocks the fish and maintains them, you know, and, and likes to fish them. But the otters come out here and they just demolish the population. Like he said, he's seen them out here, you know, just eating sunfish and, and all kinds of stuff up on the ice here. So the point today is to walk around the edges of this. And the, the ice around this is pretty solid. We can't walk out there, obviously, and don't need to. But we're going to go over there set some traps, get some beavers, get some otters out of here for them. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. So as we go along here, you can look at all the years of damage these beaver have been doing to this property up here. Really right above that, right above that giant bank lodge there is an oak tree that's just been mowed down on. We got some really good spots here, look at this. Look at this bank den. Look at these bank dens right here, you guys. Oh. Probably something sitting in that one right now. I'd almost bet. Look at the water surging up and down here. There's definitely something coming out of the lodge here somewhere. You hear the ice cracking, but there's a run there, a run there. Definitely something coming out of the lodge. I don't know if we'll be able to set that or not, but there's a couple more runs down there and there that we are gonna set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go around here and we can physically see these runs, so I don't have to show you how to, how to find them. But normally, like if I, if I was out here and there was super thick ice, this would definitely, you know, I'd look for little indentations in the bank right here. Um, you know, indicating that beaver are coming up here and working. That'd be the first thing I'd do. And it looks like this mink ran along here and was sliding in and out of here. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna find a bunch of runs, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna set a bunch of traps. All right, so decided we're gonna put in five sets around the lodge. We're actually not putting anything on the lodge itself because the feed pile is right on top of the runs and there's no way to get to those unless you took a 40 inch chainsaw and cut the feed pile out. But got a run here, a run there, and three runs on that side. Essentially, the, like the water's down so far here that their bank, bank dens are actually exposed. So they're going up into these bank dens. It's been cool, but they're still using them so much that they're not closing up totally, which is nice. So here, we're actually gonna put a, put a trap in right under the ice a little bit. We'll actually just let the trapping do the talking. There we go. And, oh. And then I might need this. Okay. Okay. So this is like this is super duper thin ice. So I I can't put my weight on it or else it's gonna break right here. But it's shallower here, maybe a foot, foot and a, or maybe a foot and a half deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna block off both sides of this run. One there, one on the other side here. All right, so now we're, we're channeling the beaver or whatever it is that comes up in here. And essentially we're gonna, and this is, so this is actually our, this is actually our safety stick. So the beaver doesn't pull the trap away but it's also gonna be a, 
a log in case they come up and they see this and they don't want to come up too early and they'll they'll go right underneath it oh boy okay so got our stick here we're gonna run the trap through both springs like so put this right down in the run here oh i like that that's in there nice nice Oh. that in the bottom I got my adjustable snare cable here get this around the tree here cinch it up Okay, I'm gonna flip this, flip this over so the stick is almost touching the water is what my plan is. There we go. I just want them to see a shadow coming as they come in. Oh, got my swivel stick here. I'm just gonna swing this trap. Actually, you know what, I can, I can pull up on this wire to get that trap off the bottom to swing it back in place. And then push, to, push back down those springs. This trap is maybe just a couple inches under the ice. Okay. Okay, you guys actually sprung the trap, but I'm putting it right back in, right as it was. Oh, there we go. Uh, there. Now, hopefully, something's going to come swimming right up. Swimming to that 330, and we're going to have a floater here tomorrow. Okay. okay. Sneaking into the beaver lodge here. Ice is not exactly thick by the lodge here, but... We're gonna go set this one over here really quick. This one here now, you guys, is kinda, I don't know. Really, the run itself going up under that under that shoreline is super duper narrow. Um, so, we're gonna set a H stand there. That there, this here, okay. Okay, so literally there is a, like there, it, you can see it's open here, but there's a run coming in right at this direct angle here going up, up under the shoreline. It is literally as wide as the, the shrink thing here, so I can't get the trap in there how I normally would. So we're going to do the old H stand here and see if we can finagle them in a trap. Gosh. I mean, every time you get by these runs, it sounds like there's something in there, like trying to get out all the time because they're the water just sloshes up and down. It's crazy. All right. Each stand is straight up and down, like so. We're just gonna put this around the top of it, actually. So safety wire here. I'm gonna wire it off to a tree somewhere right around this general vicinity, but there we go. Put her in just like this. Oh, that is such a such a good fit too. You guys don't even know. Oh. Yeah, that is like the perfect fit, you guys, for something to get caught in there. Each stand is deployed. Just putting a stick across the hole here in case it gets wild tries to get away. Trap is in. We are immediately going to hop over to the next set over here, which should be an interesting one for sure. Sticks. More sticks. And a 330. So this particular set here 
gonna be, I don't know. I don't know. I can't guarantee. I'm not guaranteeing any results, you guys. It's kind of. I'll actually. I'll actually show you guys exactly what this looks like up close and personal. You got this run that's coming in, and it's a big. It's a giant bank den. That's really what it is. It's just the water is so low. Here, got all the peeled sticks, and there's a hole way back to way back up in there, right? Well, right here is where the beaver and everything are just coming in to the set. So. I can't, it's too shallow to put it under the water, so I'm going to have to submerge it like halfway somehow here. Uh, yeah, so wish me luck, I don't know. There you go, okay. Put this right here. You guys see any of that, all of it? Hopefully, maybe. Oh, all right. Sorry, sorry. That, yeah, that's what gets people in trouble. Okay, so I... I took some of this bank out of here just for the purpose of getting a getting a stick down into this clay. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work out, but this is kind of be like a, a Hail Mary set down here. Get that down into the clay really good. Oh. Get that down into there pretty good. Okay. Now you guys have seen me do channel sets before. And this is kind of like a channel set darn near. I'm just narrowing down this area to try to get the beaver or the otter, or whatever's coming up in here, to swim in between the sticks and get caught right by the head. Gonna work? I don't know. We're gonna throw a Hail Mary up and see what happens. It's just such a, it's just such an active area that, you know, you gotta get a trap in here. Okay, got my sticks out here. I'm literally gonna slide this across both of them, Ugh, like so. And then this is the key, you gotta get these sticks close enough to where when you put these springs over the sticks, you can push the springs out and it will, oh, whoops. Oh, try and keep everything out of your way. Oh gosh, I get some leverage here, there. Oh. And push those springs out and it, what does it does it pushes these sticks out and it locks that trap in place oh my stick or my my sticks might need to go in a little closer this one here's a little loose okay there that's actually sturdy now Whew. that was kind of a struggle you guys to get that in there so the idea is just to anchor just to anchor this cable somewhere and thankfully I got a six foot cable on here. Oh, we'll go right here. There we go. That's a good anchoring spot. Okay. <laughs> we got our snare cable on here. We're gonna put this down over this stick here. So if we get a beaver in it, he's not gonna pull off with it. Oh. I am gonna pound that down in the mud, just in the clay, just a little bit more. And then we're gonna we're actually gonna disguise this trap a little bit with some grass and stuff to break up the outline. But the one thing I don't wanna do is I don't wanna clog this opening up. See that? Whatever's coming in here, I want them to come in here and just kinda look at that and say that's the easiest way to get up in there. So I definitely wanna leave that open, okay? All right, you guys, that's kind of a Hail Mary set. Cross your fingers. You guys see all that? All that business right there, I hope. Tip it down a little bit, maybe. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Traps right here. Kind of nice. Got a couple dead trees laying over this run and it's forcing the beavers and stuff to come right out 
underneath this tree. So, it'll be, honestly, it'll, it'll make for, for really easy setting. Not necessarily really easy catching, but easy setting. Another thing I like about this pond that you guys have heard me mention in other videos is this is clay bottom. And the sticks go into the bottom so much easier on a clay bottom lake. Oh yeah, yeah just like that. Okay, got the run blocked off on both sides here. And now this run here is, let's see, which side I want to put this on. Okay. Dip this guy in the water here a little bit, straighten out my triggers. Now there was a big otter that, that ran around this whole area this morning. So I would really hope that we could get an otter in one of these sets in the coming days. There we go. Tell that wind is cold because when you pull this trap out, I can literally feel it icing up as it comes out of the water. A little farther up. There we go. Trap set like so. Got my stake here. So a lot of you guys wonder how my swivel stick goes in. I show that every few videos. When you see me put my swivel stick in, essentially that stick goes right between these jaws. You see that? Traps in the run, goes in the bottom. Trap can't swing back and forth. See how it works? It's the key to catching the beeve. All right, now I'm gonna center this thing right between these sticks here. That looks good to me. Oh. Put my safety wire right up here. Hound that in. All right, got my trap here. I can feel this thing is dead center of this run. This is perfect. Swivel sticks in the bottom, like this. Th this is the, the like the the poster child for like the perfect set. It doesn't get any easier than that. And the good part is, I actually got this whole set in in just a couple minutes. Where the other ones took me like an hour. I'm gonna edit out all that video, so it looks like I'm putting them in really fast. All right, you guys. Only got that one set in on this old lodge over here. Five in across the lake. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in the morning. Hopefully have beaver and otter, fingers crossed. Mmm. Well, that all froze over last night now. Well, so this, this trap over here is set off, but I don't see nothing floating there. Of course, it could have got out of the trap and went out in the water here. Huh. Yo, what's up everybody? Back here at this pond. Look at all those irrigators going out there, keeping the lake all nice and irrigated so the fish don't die. And then we're here to try to catch some beaver, hopefully an otter or two out of here. But got here, I see that trap is either, I don't know if it's missing or not, but it's definitely sprung. I don't see, I was hoping to see a chunk of fur sticking out of the water there, but who knows, that trap's definitely sprung. Got a bunch more traps here. We're gonna we're gonna check. We're gonna go over to this one over here first. Oh. And I don't know if there's gonna be anything in them or not. Just because a lot of these are not necessarily banked ends. They're just where the beavers and otters have been coming up to uh, feed a little bit, you know. So we're gonna we're just gonna chop this out and look a little bit. See if we can see anything here.
All right, that trap is still set down there, but we still have a chance of getting something in that one. Okay. So there used to be an H stand sticking out of that hole and that H stand is gone now. Yeah. So that's, there's gonna be something in that one for sure. So that H stand is missing over there. So there's definitely some activity in that one. Those sticks aren't moved over there, but that's a good run. We're gonna work our way over to this guy here. See if there's anything. Oh, I can see the toes of a beaver, I think. Is that what that is? There's a, yep, there's a big beaver right there. You see his foot sticking right out of the ice, you guys. So the cool part is, look at this, I can actually, I can actually walk out here. This was wide open yesterday. That's crazy. So had a just a trap halfway out of the water right there yesterday. You guys seen me? Well, you guys didn't see me struggle for it, but I struggled for quite a while trying to uh, set a trap there. Somewhere over in here, there's a stick in there. Now this set here, I won't be able to reset it, but that's all right because we already got we did get a beaver out of it, which is really what we are hoping for. That looks like it's gonna be an adult beaver. You guys see that? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big beaver. Come here, come here, buddy. Big beaver. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay, we might take a swim. Right by the head too, look at that guy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big beaver. There's a big beaver, you guys, right by the head. Coming out of that, coming into that. Run. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's definitely a big one. Let's see here, where's that cable going over to here somewhere? Oh, there we go. One big beaver down right by the head in that trap. Oh, and I don't know for sure, but that other, that other H stand over there is messed up and gone. Normally you get a small beaver in there, that H stand doesn't move. You get a big beaver in there and they move around quite a bit. Okay, let's see here. We must have got this beaver pretty early too because like I said, it froze over last night um, pretty early. I, I wouldn't even doubt if we got it before it got dark out even. But, oh, compress those springs like so. Here we go. Thank you. All right, look at that, nice big beaver. Just gonna get the water kind of off of him here. He's been uh, chewing hardwoods and his hardwood chewing days are over, you guys. Woo. All right, let's, uh, we're just gonna drag him right over there for now. One big beaver down now cross her fingers then we got another one over here in this H stand like I said this H stand is missing so probably would have got this one early too if there's one in here but like I said I there's got to be something going on here because H stands don't just disappear What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's kind of like fishing. Oh yeah, we got a beaver. We got a beaver. Now, the trick is getting the, the trick is getting the H stand off of the trap. That's probably the hardest part out of using H stands. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Okay. H stand is out. <laughs> and what do we got? There we go. Another big, oh yeah, big beaver. Look at the tail on that guy. Another big blanket. Woo. Look at that. Oh. So we've got two sprung traps so far and two big beaver. Oh, come on. There we go. Look at that. Exactly what we were hoping to 
see today. Oh, I didn't even guess. I forgot to guess. Oh, darn it. it was four. My guess was Your guess was four. four. Yes, I I, you know what I was going to say? I honestly was going to say three, like a, but a mixture of three. Okay. I was four with a mind and a mix. But I also, I also was thinking that I was going to get a, I thought I was going to get a big one and like a couple small ones. All right, there you guys go. Look at that. Nice big tail on this beaver here. Oh, slide him over there. And then I'm gonna reset this eight stand. The eight stand worked, you guys. <laughs> it worked, it's a miracle. <laughs> All right, you guys, so far, two sprung traps, two beaver. We got one, two, three, four traps left. We got a bank den, another little one over there, one around the corner, another bank den, and then the otter trap on that lodge over there. Look at that, there we go. Couple of big beaver. Perfect start to this uh, trapping excursion. Textbook run right there. And then we got another one right here. I don't know, I mean, these are just, these are just spots where the otters and the beaver were just coming up to, to chew a little bit. Oh, what do we got? We got something in this one. I see some fur in there. Okay, we're back on. <laughs> Rolling. Okay, we got some fur in here. I don't know. I can't see what it is or how big it is. That could be a that, that could be a muskrat for all I know. I just seen some fur. Let me break this all open here. That way it. Let's just pull it out. Let's just pull it out. Okay. Ah. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. Okay. We got. It. We got a beaver. A small beaver. Ha! Huh. I figured there'd be some small beaver in here, and that guy is small. Well, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Three traps, three beaver. I'm feeling really good, really good about this so far. Oh no, because <laughs> I was thinking three. Now I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Baby beave. Okay. I will say the top of my stick there has some ice about a foot up, about two inches up above it, which tells me that trap might have froze in a little bit, got a beaver in it, and then the beaver struggled. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it, there's a beaver in there. That beaver struggled a little bit, pulled that stick up out of the mud. Yeah, you see that right there? See that? How that, how that stick is busted up like that? That's, there's definitely gonna be a beaver in here. Or something. There's gonna be a critter in here, you guys. Let's see here. Oh, see a sprung trap. And I see something caught in the sprung trap. Another small beaver. Another small beaver. Well. All right. Ugh. We're on a roll, you guys. That's four for four on traps now. It's four for four on sprung traps, I should say. Which to me is the only thing that counts because you can't catch nothing if nothing goes into it. Okay. Oh. This one here, I'm gonna go like this. Okay. Beaver number four out of this spot. 
All right, you guys, so we set this bank den yesterday and you can see there's something, see something, looks like dark. Oh no, that's a beaver. I thought it was an otter for a minute there. Is that, no, maybe that's, that. I think that's a giant otter. I really think that's a giant otter, you guys. Monster. M.O. Monster Otter. <clears throat> oh, good thing we, uh, you know, there's one of the, there's one of the sticks. Here's this, here's my, my swivel or the stick that kept the, kept them from getting away. That's what it is. It's a, just, a, that's a massive otter. It's exactly what it is. His bluegill eating days are done. Okay, so he's frozen to the ice here a little bit. We don't want to damage that fur, so I'm just going to take the back of the axe here. Do one of these numbers. There we go. See how that's nice like that? Now I can take that into a heated area and uh, let that stuff melt off there. Oh. I'm going to move this back just a hair so you guys can see. Big otter. A little bit of B.O. Oh, we got the size of that otter, you guys. Oh, got him right by the head, too. Oh. Yeah. Whew. Monster. Got him coming in. To this run because I can tell because this this was sitting on top of the trap that way I know that this otter got came or got caught coming into this run <sighs> wow just an awesome awesome day on this pond here so far if I wouldn't have put this here this giant otter even though it caught right by the head would have slipped under the ice with this somewhere. I mean, he, obviously he would have died, but we wouldn't have gotten him, which is really sad. So you can take a small stick like this, you know, and just break the bigger chunks off. Just as long as you don't grab them and just rip those chunks off. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, you guys, look at that. Big, huge otter in that 330. Four beaver and a giant otter. Not too shabby, I'd say. Oh, well, there you go. We had five sprung traps and we had five critters. Two nice big blanket beaver two small beaver and a giant otter. Like that thing is huge. I'm sure you got that way from eating all kinds of fish out of this pond here. So, super successful day. Like, hopefully tomorrow's check's gonna, I'm guessing it's gonna yield, hopefully another otter, maybe another bigger beaver. There's gotta be a bigger beaver in here because this one trap back here, they chewed the swivel stick off. So, I mean, it could have been one of the big beaver we caught, I don't know. But definitely an awesome day getting some of these beaver out of here. We'll see you at tomorrow's check. What's up you guys? <clears throat> a little sick today, pulling traps. So, got this big old beaver lodge here, as you can see. First day we came and set a bunch of traps and hammered everything. Caught a giant otter, caught two big beaver, caught some small beaver. And now it's we've been checking it for like a week and there's nothing, no activity, no like big, big bubbles, little tiny stuff here and there. But yeah, nothing else, isn't that kind of crazy? <clears throat> I figured there'd be a couple big beaver and some smaller ones, but yeah. Cleaned them out on the first night, you guys. Well, 
hope you guys are enjoying some trapping videos i'm getting out for you doing some ice fishing stuff i got more trapping videos coming out i just gotta gotta get well like i said i've not been feeling good lately i got some cold or something going on it's just not good but i'm still out here plugging along guys appreciate all the views and all the likes and the comments and all that good stuff yeah peace out guys